Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we are going to do something amazing. So you have just purchased the magnificent Samsung Galaxy Note 8, or you want to buy one, and you are inevitably wondering what that magical S Pen is capable of, and trust me, it can do a lot. And of course, in this video, I will show you every single tip, trick, and feature that the S Pen is hiding for you to discover. It is going to be a Saki Tech style video. That means you get an in-depth, fully detailed video. So let's dive in and discover everything. And really quickly, make sure to smash that thumbs up button right now. And if you do use Twitter and Instagram, follow me on both at Saki Tech Online. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be learning just about everything about the S Pen. Now let me start off with talking about just some of the basics. So here we have a floating icon, which can be disabled. If you tap the floating icon, it brings up the air command menu. And we're gonna be talking about all these options. I'm gonna show you exactly what they do. On top of that, also you can bring up the air command menu by hovering the S Pen close to the screen and clicking on this button. Okay, that brings up the air command menu as well. So immediately you understand that this button is not necessary. This hovering button is not necessary. You can always remove it if you so desire, or you can just keep it on the side here. And of course, it is a floating icon, so you can put it anywhere you want on the screen. In case you wanna keep it, it does not have to be in your way. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna actually keep it floating over here. Uh, but if you want to, you can go into the settings and disable this floating icon. Now there's two ways to go into these settings. When you bring up the air command, you can either tap over here, which will take you into the full S Pen settings, or if you go into the settings from here, you can go to advanced features and you can go to the S Pen, and that's the exact same settings you can access from, from both sides. So just for your convenience, here's the option that disables or enables the floating icon. So if I tap this, that floating icon is gone, now it's not gonna appear anywhere on the screen. Now again, for this demonstration, I'm gonna keep it on there. So let's tap it and it's right there. All right, so again, I just wanna make sure that you understand, I'm gonna go over all these settings from top to bottom. But I just wanna get out the quick tips out of the way. So the other tip I'm looking at here is the pointer. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but as I hover close to the screen, there is a little dot that appears on the screen that trails the S Pen. So the S Pen is not touching the screen, but there's a little dot that appears on the screen. Now, if that dot is bothersome, what you can do is you can simply disable it, and now there's gonna be no more dots when you hover the S Pen close to the screen. And for this demonstration, I'm gonna actually keep that off. Now, let's start off by looking at Air View. So Air View is something that allows you to get previews of items when you hover your S Pen over certain items. You don't have to touch the screen, you simply hover over the screen and like magic, the uh, S Pen is gonna give you some previews. So again, if you tap it, it will go into the details and it will actually show you all the things that you're capable of doing. Let me take this guy, put it here for a minute. So if you launch your calendar, you can hover over calendar entries and it's gonna give you little previews. You can do the same thing in pictures. Uh, you can do the same thing with context and everything. Let me show you a couple examples so you understand exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go to the gallery. Here's the gallery. Uh, let me go into my favorites over here. And let's say that I wanna hover over a picture to see a quick preview. All I do is I go like that. And then you see a little preview. Now, not only do you get a little preview, you can preview the button. So there's the edit button, there's the share button, and here's the delete button, all right? And you can actually delete pictures right from here. So let me take a look. Let's say I don't need this picture right here. I go over to delete, I tap it, it asks me, do I want to delete it? Click yes, and it's gone. So that's the air view. Now the same thing works in the phone. Now like I said, the same thing works in the calendar view. So if I go to the calendar, let me launch the calendar, and uh, let's just hover over this thing right here. As you can see, it gives me a preview for the 4th of Monday on which I was hovering and saying Labor Day. And again, remember, I'm not touching the screen, okay? The other thing you can do is if I go to one of these uh, text messages here, let me go to one that I have a uh, address for, like a website address. Okay, there it is. So if I hover over a link, it shows me a preview of that website. Okay, so it could be google.com, amazon.com, whatever. If you hover your pen over the link, you get a nice and little preview. And if you have, of course, tap it, it takes you to the website. Okay, and finally, 
And finally, you can use this air view feature to actually scroll up and down on various screens. So let me just uh, show you settings as an example. Let's just go to advanced features and take a look at that. If I hover at the bottom, it scrolls down. Again, I'm not touching the screen. If I hover at the top somewhere, it's going to catch it right here. So that's going to scroll up. Okay. So that is in fact the air view. Let's go back into the S Pen. And of course, if you don't want it, you can always disable it. I personally enjoy it, so I'm just going to keep that enabled. All right, so another feature that I want you to understand as quickly as possible, again, before everything else, is if I scroll down over here, and don't worry, I will come back up here and go over everything. Uh, over here at the bottom, under removal, take a look at what, where it says alarm. This is absolutely essential that you uh, enable this because this will sound an alarm if you detach your pen, put it on the table, and then grab your note and walk away with it. Okay, that happens a lot. People forget their S pens, and S pen is not a cheap accessory. You can buy it for 30 bucks or 40 bucks. Uh, so make sure that you have this enabled. So if you do forget your S pen behind and you walk away, the phone is going to actually sound an alarm and remind you to go get your S pen. All right, so make sure that's enabled. All right, let's go back up. So, what is the direct pen input, which is right here? This is actually quite an awesome feature. So, let me just tap it. And basically, it allows you to use handwriting using the S Pen for text messaging or even entering text anywhere it is available. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So enable that. So let's just go to Chrome over here. And on the top here, uh, there's a bar. There's a writing area. So I can hover the S Pen and you'll see a blue icon. Go to that blue icon and tap it. And that's going to bring up a uh, different kind of screen, not the keyboard, on which you can actually start writing anything that you want. So for example, let me get rid of that for a minute. And let me just say, you know, W, W, W. And as you can see, that turns into W, W, W. Then I can put a dot if you want. If you tap it, it's going to give you a dot. And you can write anything. You can write Google. And as you can see, I'm purposely writing with my left hand. And as you can see, the recognition is superb. So I can just go to .com. You can do the same thing in text messages. So if you go to text message, and let's say you want to uh, say something to your friend, uh, you just hover that, tap that blue icon, and I can start writing whatever you want. Okay? So that's a superb feature. Let me go back into the settings, to the S Pen settings, uh, and continue with the other features. Now next up, we have the screen off memo. So just enable that, and I'll show you what this does. So basically, when your phone is turned off, uh, you can pull out the S Pen and without unlocking the phone, start taking notes on a black screen. Okay, It's a brilliant feature. Now, I'll show you another way to do it as well. If you already actually have your S Pen, you can still use the screen off memo. You don't have to detach the S Pen to use the screen off memo. So first and foremost, let me turn off the screen. Hi, Bixby. Lock the screen. Okay, so the screen is off right now, so you have two options. If the S Pen was already inside your phone, you could have pulled it out and you could have just started writing. Now, if, if the S Pen is already out, it's not going to work that way. But then what you can do is you can just bring the S Pen close to the screen, press that button, and that's also going to activate the screen off memo, which is a fantastic little tool. So as you can see, I haven't logged in, but I can start taking notes. And I can go to the next page. I can take as many notes as I want. Then I can erase something. If I don't want it, I have an eraser here, so that's gone. I can go back to the first page. And then when I'm done, I can click Save in Notes, and it gets saved away. So that's the screen off memo. And of course, if you want to access your memos later, uh, you can go in here. You can go to the Samsung Apps, go to Samsung Notes, and the memo that you took on the when the screen was off, is going to be right here, okay? So it's a fantastic way to take notes on the go, quick in and out. All right, let's go back into the settings and continue looking at everything else. Advanced features, S Pen, and the next thing at the bottom is the Air Command. Now we're going to be talking about the Air Command, then we'll come down and look at the rest of these features, okay? So Air Command obviously is this thing right here. You bring the pen here, you press the button, or like I said, you tap on that floating icon and the air command comes up. By the way, this floating icon does not accept touch input. So you cannot touch it with your finger. It's not going to come up. You need the S Pen to access it. 
So tap that and let's take a look at this thing right here. You have a rotating menu. The first thing I need you to understand is this menu is fully customizable. So all you do is you bring up the air command, you go into the settings and then you go to shortcuts. You tap it and here it is. These are all the shortcuts that you're seeing when I pull up the air command menu. I can delete all these guys, okay? Let me just show you exactly what I mean. Go back out, tap it. Now there's only one left because that's all I had there. Now let's go back to settings, go to the shortcuts, and I'll show you quickly. On the top, you have all the S Pen specific features. On the bottom, you can actually create shortcuts to apps. So I can have a calculator app right here that I can put on my air command. I can tap that. And now we have a calculator. I can tap that and boom, I can do a quick calculation. So I just need you guys to be aware of that in case you want to actually uh, modify this menu. Now the one thing I need you also to know is the maximum amount of uh, uh, settings you can put onto the air command are 10. So I'm going to take all these off. I'm just going to put back all the uh, air command options, the S Pen, unique S Pen uh, features. So we can take a look at all those guys. Okay, so let's go back out. And let's uh, see what we have here. First one is very easy. You tap it, it takes you to all your notes. Okay. The next one is if you tap it, you click that, it creates a quick note so you can start taking notes. That's also very good. So you can save it, you can delete it, whatever you want. So those are the easy ones. And then the third one here is Smart Select. This is a fantastic feature. So let's click it and see what we can do. You can uh, choose rectangle or you can choose oval or you can do the lasso tool. Basically, you can select anything on the screen and it's going to save that as a picture. Okay, so you can you can save this. You can even draw on it. So I can uh, tap this right here. Now I can start to draw draw on it. You know, I can use uh, different pens. I can take this uh, pencil or pen here. Let's use this one. See, and then when I'm ready, I can save this. Uh, the great thing with this is, let me just go back out here. The great thing with this is if you use it, if you do bring it up, you have these different options. You can go rectangular, okay? So you could uh, select any portion of the screen. You can do square, rectangle this way, vertically, rectangle horizontally, and it's going to select that uh, one portion so you don't have to waste any space. Again, you can do a lot with this. You can share it. You can draw on it. You can save it, whatever you want to do, all right? So that's a smart select. The next one is called the screen right. So the screen right takes a screenshot of the entire screen as opposed to you selecting an area. So if I tap this, it took a screenshot and now I can, again, I can start drawing on it or whatever. When I'm ready, I can save it, share it or crop it. And again, uh, just to be clear, you could be anywhere in your phone. Let's say you were in the Chrome application and let's say you were looking at the, just an example here, let's say you were looking at the news and you saw something interesting, you could simply go like that, tap that, uh, you can say uh, screen right, it's going to take a screenshot and you can then, you know, circle something interesting and just show it to your friend or share it with anybody else that you have to. Let's go back out here. The same thing, by the way, uh, applies, let me go back here for a minute. The same thing applies to smart select, so I can select something anything on the screen it doesn't have to be the home screen obviously just want to make that clear all right so click that one more time the next thing i want to talk about let me skip uh, this live message glance uh, and let me look at magnify really quick i'm going to take a look at these again so magnify is a simple one so if you tap it you get a glass if you hover anywhere on the screen it magnifies that portion of the screen the good thing is you have a control center here you can tap it you can decrease the magnification or increase it all right, so I can go over here. Now it's magnifying even more. That's not bad at all. And I can even uh, make the magnification window smaller. So if I tap this, it becomes bigger, okay? And then again, I can do 150% magnification, so it's not too much. So that's magnify. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. The next one, again, let's go back now to glance. This is also a very, very unique feature. So to enable glance, you actually have to be on an app. So let me go to Chrome and let's say that I was looking at this and I wanted to uh, send a text message to a friend of mine uh, regarding uh, this catast catastrophic news over here. So if I tap this here, what I can do is I can tap on glance, okay, there we go, 
and that actually minimizes that window. So now I can go to my text message here and I can uh, say something to my friend and then let's say I forgot something about the article, I can just hover on the article, glance at it. Oh, okay, uh, it's called Hurricane Katrina, whatever, right? And then I can go back here, it goes down by itself and I can say Katrina and send it. So it's great for research, uh, for quick glances like that. Again, I'm sending a text message, I forgot what I was looking at, I just glance at it. Okay, then I, when I pull the pen away, it goes down. So that's the glance feature. And then let's go back in here. Now this is uh, the live message feature. This is one of the new features on the air command. If you tap it, it's going to bring up a window. In this window, you have a bunch of options. By the way, let me get rid of this thing so you can grab this glancing thing and just put it back in the remove and it's gone. So here uh, you can choose different brushes. You can choose ink, you can choose glow, or you can choose sparkle and then you can choose the thickness of the message and then you can choose the color. Basically, this is a live message you can send to anybody, okay? Uh, so let me just write something real quick. Now, uh, I can say play and that's what's gonna go to my friend. On top of that, uh, if I go back over here, let's just click done on that. So it's saving it as you can see. Now it's gonna tell you the animation all right, so forget about that. Let's do it one more time. Let me show you one thing, something more interesting. So if you go to Sparkle here, let's choose a different color. Uh, let's say I'm gonna be, it's gonna be this thick. I can do things like that. Okay, so you can draw a heart. You can say hi, whatever. When you're ready, you can preview that by clicking play. And then when you're really ready, you click done and it saves that. It actually saves it to your gallery, but you can share it right from here if you so desire. So all you do is you tap on share and then it's going to bring up the sharing menu from which you can send as a text message and email. It's going to be a GIF image, so it can, it can be sent to anybody uh, using iPhone, Samsung phone, HTC phone, whatever. All right, so let's go back in there for a second to the Air Command menu. And this time we'll take a look at the coloring option. If you tap on the coloring option, it brings up this screen from where you can actually start to color. Now this might be fun for some people, some people don't care, some people do care. If I tap this, I have the option to start coloring this. I can get the blue one, I can just tap places, you know, I can just color inside. Uh, if you have the patience for it, you can zoom in, so you can do be more precise with the S Pen. If you've got nothing else to do, you can do this. It also uh, gives you improves your skills actually, so that's a great thing to have. And finally, uh, on the Air Command menu, the one that I did skip by mistake, is the translate feature, which is a fantastic feature. So tap on this, it's gonna bring up a control center, which, which is gonna allow you to either translate words or phrases. And if I tap this, you see there's a little difference. So that's, the, that's a word, if I wanna translate one word, and if I tap this, it switches to the paragraph mode. So let's go to Google Chrome, let's just pull up a story here, and let's just say that I want to translate a word from English to Turkish. So you can pick any language you want, by the way. So you have all these options. English, and if you tap this, that's two. Uh, I have Turkish set up here. So it's going to be from English to Turkish. So it's in the word format. So if I scroll, I mean, hover over one of the words, it's going to translate that word. So a storm in Turkish is fırtına, right? And uh, again, if I go over here, hover, there we go. Now that's individual word translation. If I want to do an entire paragraph, I tap this, now I'm in the paragraph mode. So hover again, it's going to sense the paragraph, it's going to select the paragraph, and it's going to actually translate the entire paragraph to any language you want. So these are all the options you have. Of course, it is using Google's translation engine to accomplish this, so you know that it's very, very accurate. Now anyway, when you're done with this translation feature, you click X and it's gone. Okay, and then you can bring it back from the Air Command menu. All right, so that was the Air Command menu. Let me go back into Advanced Features, go to S Pen, and that was the Shortcuts menu. So I showed you how to edit this. These are the S Pen features. These are regular apps. You can have anything you want over here, up to 10 apps or shortcuts. So let's go back here. Uh, we already looked at the uh, floating icon. We already looked at the alarm. So let's take a look at this. This is very simple. What do you want happening when you pull the S Pen from its casing? So you can either do nothing or you can automatically open Air Command. So when you pull your S Pen, boom, the Air Command comes up. Or you can actually create a note. 
So when you pull your S Pen, it just creates a note. You can immediately start taking notes or the way I like it, do nothing so I can choose what I want to do myself. All right, at the bottom here, not a very important feature. It's called the, let me just uh, disable this thing right here, floating icon for now. So here's the power savers uh, uh, option. If you disable this, you may lose some battery power, but not too much. Just enable it. It's not going to hurt you in any way. Okay, so it's going to save some battery life. And the final two options at the bottom are the feedback options. So do you want to play sounds when you insert or remove the S Pen into its cover? So when you put the S Pen back, you get a nice little voice feedback. When you pull it out, you also get a nice voice feedback. You can disable that if you don't care about it. And also, this, by the same token, you also get vibrational feedback. All right, so those are the last two options. And as you can see, we have traversed just about everything regarding the S Pen. We went over all the settings, and of course, and of course, we looked at every single individual uh, air command option here. All right. Well, thank you for watching this video, and hopefully, I was able to teach you everything you need to know about the S Pen. Make sure to watch my other videos as well that touch on all non-S Pen related tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Finally, if you do use Instagram or Twitter, follow me on both at Saki Tech Online. Have a fantastic day.